Ace number two in Turfton's trilogy that starts in Louisville. The Preakness at Old Pimlico. 30,000 are out to see if Needles can do it again. Needles number six is the favorite. He won the Derby. Now he has to win number two. Time will tell. And here they go. Nine three-year-olds off and running in the mile and three-sixteenths race. Shorter than the Derby and therein perhaps lies the story. As was the case at Louisville, Needles was favored and Fabius was second choice. As was the case at Louisville where Fabius came in second, the Calumet Farms entry made his move in the back stretch like he is now, while Needles was back with the tail enders just the way he is right now. Does history repeat itself so soon? Does lightning ever strike twice? With Willie Hartack in the irons, Fabius rounds the bend and heads into the payoff stretch. Needles has made his move. As Fabius Packers recall he did at Churchill Downs, and pulses begin to tingle now as it begins to look like a derby repeat. Here comes Needles on the outside, gaining with every yard. But this is the Preakness, a shorter race, remember, and the yards run out. History does not repeat itself. Fabius is the winner in the best performance of his career. $84,000 richer, while Needles settles for second and $25,000. So Fabius brings joy to his rooters, come to mama, but spoils Needles' bid for racing's big three. Depends on how you look at it, whom you picked. Right now, they're tossing kisses to Fabius, the pride of the Preakness. Love that Fabius. Fabulous. <laughs> <laughs>